Hello, Nikita and I ventured out into the Perth Hills yesterday to do some exploring. We took a bunch of photos that will be up on my website tonight. And here is what mischief we got up to. Okay, it's recording. All right, I'm gonna try Helen's Hellish <laughs> Chili Pickle. I'm horrible at trying hot things. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have any water. There's no water. It's perfect timing. My sunglasses are perfect. <laughs> down. All right, ready? Maybe Helen? Mm -hmm. Ah, this is Helen, she made it. Hello, Helen. <laughs> ready, go. <laughs> Oh. Nice. That's not hot. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's remember in future not to eat anything with the word hellish in front of the word hot. So after leaving Helen's hellish hot pickle dips, we came across this really cute stall that had this really cute popcorn bag that I really wanted. I thought it'd be really cool for like hiding movie treats in there and then going to the movies, except it wouldn't really be a very good hiding spot, I guess. But they had so many cute bags, except the lady who ran the store was so grumpy. She told me off of filming. Then we found this absolutely amazing stall. Oh my goodness, I almost died. They are soya candles. They are in all different kinds of scents. They had like between the sheets and um, Sex on the Beach and Kiwi Fizz and Vix and oh my goodness, so amazing. I bought Vix, which is made out of eucalyptus, smells exactly like Vix, and I bought gumballs that smell exactly like gumballs. And because I like anything that I can put my tea in, I got this teapot and I got the little cup of the Grenadier Guard. So cute! Then after all our perusing, we sat under a tree and ate churros. And Nikita had caramel sauce. I think we should go exploring now up in the hills. Okay. After she Googles. What are you Googling? Rocks that mean strength and endurance. And it's come up with muscular endurance and strength. <laughs> Google, you have disappointed us. And it's not easy to find out where you can buy granite. Google, you've disappointed us. But then is that in is that in um <laughs> in roads as well? <laughs> I'm gonna find all the stones out on the road. I just just go out to the road now and just take a hunk of <laughs> just chip a hunk out. With your nail file because that's what we do here in Kalamunda. Right, we are going to go exploring now up into the hills. We're in Kalamunda at the moment which is in the hills but we were on our way just to get go past and get coffee and then go up into the hills to go exploring and then we saw these markets and got some really awesome exciting things and now we're going to go up into the hills and go exploring and get lost so if you don't if this is the last message that's on the video camera <laughs> Here's my last confession. realized we were on Mundaring Weir Road we went in search of the weir which is uh, what you are seeing right now it's so gorgeous out there it is really scenic absolutely really beautiful and peaceful it's um, it's just like a water catchment area for I guess all our water we try and take some video footage and some photos it is so glary out there I broke my sunglasses and my eyes were watering so bad and what you're about to see in the water I actually thought it was a swan from a distance it was not a swan it was just a big chunk of wood the view was magnificent it really was such a beautiful place Glowing in the 
sun. We're on the weir. We're in the Mandiri. <laughs> we're on the weir. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the weir in the Mandiri. <laughs> no, it just sound like really, really Kiwi. <laughs> and we... Pemberton. And now it just sounds now it just sounds Amer now it just sounds American. <laughs> Your hair is like sticking to my lip gloss. Sorry. You can't ever say Nikita. <laughs> you can't ever say Nikita in these vlogs things because she is so tall. And I am so short. <laughs> and that's why you can't see us. But yes, we're in Mundiring in the weir. Mundiring. <laughs> <laughs> Mon is it what is it? Mundaring. <laughs> we're going now to find. We're going now to find toilet. And <laughs> that's what you do when you're a Mundaring. <laughs> and the toilet consists of a tree and some sticks. <laughs> oh, what are the sticks for? <laughs> Um, <laughs> decoration? <laughs> you put it where you pee, you put a stick there so no one else pees no, in that spot. No, you build a little thing for your wheel going through <laughs> so that it doesn't go on your feet. It's like a, a dam, like a wheel. You build it out of sticks like a wheel. <laughs> I've, um, it stops your wheel from going on your feet. I've never heard that in my <laughs> life. And I've squatted many times in the bush before. And I just like... You find, or you find a hill, a slight hill, <laughs> so that your wheel is on the hill. <laughs> excuse me. Like, excuse me, sir. Where's your nearest incline? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this over here is the. <coughs> I'm not even gonna try and say it. Bimbalim? <laughs> Bim what? Bimbalim. Bimbalim track. And we've met heaps of people in our road trips who have done this track, and it's from. Is it from Perth to Albany? I think so. Yeah. So they walk this track, and they usually do it for like um, cancer or. Um, some kind of charity. Mm. My hair looks really purple in this. You can see her because I'm standing on a rock. <laughs> it's what she always wanted, a rock. She's okay, wanted... there's no toilet here. She's gonna have to find a tree and some toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I never oh, had. Or a slight incline. <laughs> Or a slight incline. I've never heard of the whole tweet thing in my whole entire life. And I've gone out here many times. So now we're going Lara's to... Lara's always just weed on her feet. <laughs> I haven't. Yes. I am a pro. I am a pro at peeing in the bush. How can you be a pro when you don't even know all the tricks of the trade? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually even know if that works. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna try it next time. Like right now. No, I'm, I'm gonna go help her now and try and find some twigs <laughs> and a slight incline. <laughs> There's a slight incline right there. You can just stand on the end and squat over the edge. <laughs> I think oh, you're going to. Oh yeah. How do you get up there? Ah, B. You have to go back there with the where the where the oh, over here where the steps are. We found some Western toilets, so we don't have to go and do it like native style. How happy are you? That the thing about the Australian bush is the freaking flies. So upsetting. Are you excited to find some Western toilets? Like, I feel like I'm walking funny now because my legs are sore and because I'm trying not to weigh myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've peed more than me today. Usually I'm the one stopping all the time to pee. No, yeah, I've been peeing like right now. TMI. Oh, I think it's just an information building. Yeah, it is. Yes. 
<laughs> She's so excited that she found toilets, first world problems. <laughs> and <laughs> third world problem. <laughs> third world problem. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that's I think it's politically incorrect. <laughs> second world <laughs> What's a second world country? Is there any? <laughs> well, I know, who skipped that? Obviously whoever made that up can't count. <laughs> In our exploration of the area, we found a whole heap of wild aloe vera. I absolutely love aloe vera. I use it as a moisturizer. It's my favorite thing. And here is me trying to steal one of the aloe vera plants. As I'm editing this, I actually have all the thorns stuck in my hand. But luckily, Nikita comes to the rescue and finds an aloe vera plant that actually needs saving. It's trapped underneath all those vines, part of it's dying. So uh, basically, we saved it and we did a good thing that wasn't stealing plants from the um, forest. Welcome to Australia, foam of the flies. That's what everyone should have on their license plate. Like, not something different for each state, but just like Australia, home of the flies in the summer. And in winter, everyone has to change their license plate to home of the grumpy people. <laughs> home of the people who grump about winter. Home of the bad drivers. <laughs> Where did my eye? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>